Hi, this is Kerry with FreeAudacityTutorials.com and today I am going to show you how to remove clicks and pops from your audio. This was a question that was sent in by someone from Vietnam. I think his name is Quang Deng Man. If I mispronounce that, I am so sorry. I do not speak Vietnamese. Uh, but anyway, what I'm going to show you, I'm assuming he's asking how to get rid of sounds in your recording that you don't want to be there. Uh, there are quite a few ways to do this, some better than others, some simpler than others. I'm going to show you one of the simplest ways today, and in future tutorials I will show you some other ways to get rid of sounds. But what I have here is a uh, soundtrack of a recording from a conversation I recorded over Skype, where I was talking up here in the top section, up here, and my guest was talking in the lower section here. And what I'm going to do is, see, there's sections like right here on this upper track where I was speaking while he was speaking. And sometimes on a podcast, that just garbles things up. So I want you to listen to what it sounds like. Unintended to see it. The, yeah. the, the, the photos before. Yeah. And, so, and so I'm saying, yeah, yeah, while he's talking. I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. Now, the first thing you need to do is notice what kind of track you're using. If you look right here. This shows that the two sections of the track are connected, which means it is a stereo track. And in this case, it's a joint stereo track where each of us are in one channel. I'm in the upper channel. He's in the lower channel. Well, if I try to highlight this so I can do something with it, it's going to highlight the whole thing because it's a joint track. So what I have to do first is separate the two. Go down here either to split stereo track, which it'll make two separate stereo tracks, or split stereo to mono. You can do either one, depending on which uh, way you want your audio to be in the end. I'm just going to split to stereo for right now. Now the two are no longer connected. And so now I can highlight this section and do something with it. Now you may want to zoom in. You can hold down control and use a scroll wheel. You may want to zoom in so you get only that sound. I've not found it important to be that particular. What you can do is highlight that area, do edit, remove audio or labels and then silence audio and it's gone and it does so without changing your timeline you still have the same amount of time so it's just silencing it if you were to cut that out it would make this top track shorter and leave the bottom track the same length which would be a bad thing because then your conversation from then on is not going to sync so i'm going to do the same thing here with that second time i said yeah so i'm going to do the same thing silence audio that is really the easiest way to do it now, if the question is really about how do you silence background noise, like the hiss of your computer or something like that, there is an effect here called noise removal, which I will do a tutorial about at a later time, because noise removal is a little more involved and it takes a little more know-how, which I will cover in a future tutorial. There is also a possibility that the person was asking about when you put two, two tracks together, say you've got two music tracks or two copies of the same music track and you're wanting to make it where it sounds like it's looping and when it goes from one track into the other track it will it will have a little pop is what it's called um, how do you get rid of those pops there is a way to do that i will cover that as well in future tutorials so that's it for this particular tutorial thanks for watching preaudacitytutorials.com where i do podcast cover art and website headers as well as podcast consulting check me out